Hi guys, it's Andrea here and I wanted to take the opportunity since I have my new Vitamix container. Our Vitamix just got repaired, they replaced the motor and then they gave us a new container with a new blade and it's so clear. I don't know how it stays like this but mine doesn't stay like this. Probably because I make almond milk in it. But anyway, it's nice and clear and I thought I would give you a little tip on how I make my Shakeology every day. So, um, I actually turn it as low as it goes make sure the variable speed is down and it's not on high that would be an explosion in your kitchen but I don't like to waste any of this powder here this shake that everybody talks about that they say is expensive I like to make sure I eat all of it so I turn it on and then I go ahead and put the powder in and see that's how I prevent it from getting all stuck to the sides okay then I go ahead and I put my green container of organic spinach in, and then I put my orange container of golden organic ground flax, put that right in the top, and then I put the ice cubes on top of the leaves. Now I do it in this order because that's what Vitamix recommends. I like to be a rule follower. I follow the booklet instructions. So then, because I just have the standard um, Vitamix, it doesn't have a smoothie um, button for me at all. I just go ahead and I turn it on and I turn it up as high as I can, as quick as I can. So that's what I'm going to do here. to turn your Vitamix off you go from high down to variable and then go down to one and then you turn it off and not too obnoxiously long just make sure everything is chopped up like it should be to drink Shakeology every day you don't have to have a Vitamix I just absolutely love my Vitamix you can use a blender you can use a shaker cup if you want um, I definitely think it seems to have a better consistency if you get a blade on it so um, that's how I do it how I keep from wasting any of the Shakeology powder. Thanks guys!